News from the Independent. I saw Unplanned, the pro-life movie beloved of Mike Pence and Donald Trump Jr. It painfully aborted two hours of my life. Abortion is what pays your salary, Abby. And let's see, it's Molly Jung Fast appears to be her name. From New York. Hello and welcome to the Tea Party Hardy channel, where the party is just getting started. Current events looked at through a skeptical eye using science, history, and sometimes humor to explore the events of the day. Let's get down to business. I normally don't like to talk about the subject of abortion, especially on this platform, because I've been told by other YouTubers that this platform does not like when you talk about this subject. And I Okay, fine. It's difficult having a channel like mine, where we address every subject fairly and equally. But I want to talk about this, and I don't want to talk about it very much. It's going to be kind of short and to the point. And I know we promise to bring you information that is from a different angle. I'm not 100% sure I can live up to that right now, because you've probably heard this. But when you read something as smug as I saw the unplanned, the pro-life movie beloved by Mark Pence and Donald Trump Jr., and it was it painfully aborted two hours of my life. It's hard to not take advantage of, so I'm going to, of the idea, yeah, well, Miss Molly Jung Fast, if I'm reading your name right, it may have aborted two hours of your life, but for all of those women who successfully have an abortion, it aborted the entire life. So it's kind of cute that you find it so... Mm, can't think of the right word. So playful to toy with that word. And yet the reality is, every single time a woman has an abortion, what was aborted was her child, her unborn child. We all know that. That's why when women get pregnant, they go to their obstetrician. is to treat your unborn child. And so for her to gleefully say, oh, it painfully aborted two hours of my life. Well, lucky you, you still had the rest of your life, didn't you? You still had the rest of your life, didn't you? And if she didn't like the movie, that's fine. But that headline, that headline is disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. If you support abortion, good for you. It's legal. But you can't deny what it is. I mean, sure, you can try. And most people do. That's why they say abort. Abort what? Abort the space mission? You know, you hear that on the science fiction movie. Like, abort, abort, abort. Something has to be aborted. Well, what's being aborted? We know the answer to that. Because we know if we don't abort, 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 the space mission goes up, and nine months later, a baby's going to pop out. It painfully aborted two hours of my life. I bet she's proud of that headline. I bet she thinks it's cute. And it is. It's cute. But anyone who laughs at that, wow. I remember learning about the Vikings. And they say that the Vikings would look at the babies and determine if they were going to be strong and healthy. And if they weren't, according to what I was told, and that's all I'm saying, I'm not saying I researched it or anything. They would take the babies that weren't up to par and they would throw them off of cliffs so that they would dash on the rocks. And we're supposed to be aghast at that. We're supposed to be aghast at Vikings who looked at the born child and determined it wasn't up to their par and destroyed it. But we're supposed to be 100% okay with babies that have absolutely nothing wrong with them except for a mother who doesn't want them deciding to abort them. Now you tell me out of the two of those. No, don't tell me. Tell yourself. I already know the answer. You tell yourself. Who's the barbarian? The one who observed the baby and made in their mind, and in their time, and in their era, a rational decision. Or someone in our time who takes a totally unknown agent 
that is presumably completely fine and completely healthy and says, nah, my dad would freak out. Nah, I got plans for my life. This doesn't, my life is more important than the baby's. Whatever the reasoning behind it, and there's lots of reasons, some are more tragic than others, but most of them aren't. We know the numbers. We know that the huge majority of abortions are performed by women who simply don't find it convenient to finish what they started. We'll see you in the future.